Good morning, one and all. I'm just making sure. There you go. That seems to be working. G'day, how are you? I'm Steve Hay. This is Woodworking Must Class or a day in the shed with Steve. Got some stuff happening. Well, good morning, Bob. No, you've had the breakfast. You gonna come here, here. Come here. Come, come on, you big fat lump. Come on, you at least, at least say hello. Say no, he's not interested in saying hello. Does he just wizards in glue? I can smell glue around here. What are you doing? Careful, there's glass there, Buffett. Um, yeah, today I'm doing more work on the rocking chair. I'll just shut the door, keep the air con in. And a bit more chair repair, and I've got to go over the boxes uh, to make sure I've got no blemishes or bits and pieces that need fixing before I finally finish them off. Who have we got in? G'day, Ray. G'day, Six Knots. G'day, Trevor. G'day, Lucas. G'day... Your Royal Highness, Mum. Ah, dear. Mini Mad, g'day, how are ya? Is this your first time in Mini Mad? Oh, I can't remember seeing you pop up before. If I did, I apologise. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, and I really want to get started on this seven sided box. How's everyone been? It's, it's different, isn't it? It's different. I don't think we got Susie's segment today because she had to go out and get essential supplies. She had to go and get some more, um, what do you call it, fill for uh, the masks she's making. She's got a heap to go. She's got to drop off to the doctors this afternoon. I've got to go with her. She's got to have a little procedure done, which might lie her up for a couple of days. But... It's all good. I will keep you posted. Ah, oh, dear. How did the seat? Have a look. Have a gander, me dear. What do you reckon? Come up pretty good, didn't it? And we can... You hear that? It's got a drum. I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, there we go. I'll leave that here. No, Bob, you stay here. Just lie down there. So I don't trust you out there. There's no one in the yard to keep an eye on you. Goodness knows what trouble you're going to get up to. So we're going to stain the rest of this rocking chair. Might do this chair repair here first. And then we'll see what else happens and goes. No warping. No, unlike me, it's not warped. Look at that. Where are we? Let me do that. Actually, I can do it on that one even better, can't I? There you go. Look at that. Look. Look at that. No warpage. We done good, girl. And it was lovely because, you know, I gave a live comment to the chap whose video I looked at literally half an hour before I started streaming yesterday. So that was seedier pants stuff. Never done it before. I was just thinking, oh. And then the, the chair he did was a square chair. Didn't mention about curved chairs. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We sorted it. But I sent him a... Um, uh, a feedback comment on his YouTube page live yesterday and I got one back today and it was thank you I'm pleased it all turned out well so isn't that nice touching people we're all in it together um, I might just put this chair together here and then we can get that out of the way this is the one we glued up the other day are you going to finish the bed today no Devon I'm looking forward to starting on the darn thing again though I really am. I'm enthused, as they say. Enthused. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, straight into it. I'm going to work out what... This, this is good. This is good. So, that goes into there, and that won't be an issue. Clean that muck off. And we're going to find this bum, bum, bum. other bit. There. There it is. There it is. <coughs> so that is in there. That's not too... Okay, well, that's not too bad. We don't have to really... No, we don't have to replace any dowels on that so we can just... Rip straight into it. Oh, my dog's sad because he can't go outside. That's because you're a mongrel when you go outside. And I love you, but I just don't trust you. 
All right. So that's it. There you go. Lie down. Oh. No, not there. Oh. oh, um, we might put the frame on that other thing that Susie made too. We'll see. We will see. Let me get me head around this. That's got to do that. G'day, Reginald. How are you? G'day, Wombat. <coughs> <laughs> G'day Louise, how are you? Oh, well there you go. Ah, oh, well I apologise, Minnie. It gets it gets a bit of a blur here, you know. G'day Doby, how are you? Oh, well, there you go, <laughs> see? There's not much difference between the start and the finish, except <laughs> I might be a little bit more confused at the finish, I don't know. G'day, Julian. Uh... Hey, nanny naps are better than grandpa naps, Trevor, because nanny naps last longer. I've had a look at that. It's statistically to have a nanny nap. Hey, Jeff, how are you? Yeah, I agree. It's like it's like the bloke that was driving the wrong way up a freeway, and, and his wife rings him on the phone, Bluetooth, of course, hands free, and said, "Are you on the freeway?" He said, "Yeah, why?" She said, "She said, well, get off the freeway. There's some idiot going the wrong way up the um, up the freeway. He's going against the traffic." He said, "One idiot." He said, "There's thousands of them." So, so there you go. Beyond help. Uh, it's, it's, we're not mad. It's the rest of the world. I agree. Oh, well, let me get this ready. Um, I don't know. I might have to back that off a bit. Oh, I should have... I should take a day off and just clean on the equipment. This has got a bit of glue in the threads. I've got some test and tag to do too. All my stuff has to be test and tagged. I went and pulled my test and tag machine out and it was flat. So I've got it on charge. We might do that tomorrow. As stupid as it sounds, that new planer that I bought. Yeah, it has to be test and tagged. It's brand new. Anyway, there you go. We'll do it. We'll keep everybody happy. Maybe. I'm just, whoops, just setting the um, clamps up here. There we go. So we're going to have to. Yeah, no, we're going to have to go to the next one. There we go. That can go there. That's ready to rock and roll. <clears throat> oh, I've got to ring up. What's the year? Monday. Good. I have to ring up the sandpaper man and order some sandpaper from a drum sander. That looks as if they're going to be just right. Just right. That's all you need. You don't need them exactly right. You need them just right. I've lost that bit of cork. Wherever it did go. Where'd that bit of cork go, Bob? Did you eat it? Hey, Dobie, I'm, I'm talking to myself again. No, it's all right. We'll just, 
we'll cut this bit in half. Doesn't it matter? There you go. There is now two where once there was one. <sighs> Glue. Pencil. And here we go. They're often running in the glue up stakes. Uh, where are we? Oh, I got a. Please, you can make it before you go to bed. <laughs> Bob, oh, he's got the hump. You should see the look in his face. <laughs> you, should, you should have seen the look in his face yesterday. <laughs> I bought to a, an apple turnover because we've just got a new bakery opened up almost next door. And he came racing in and looked at Susie all expectantly, and she did not give him a crumb. See the look she got? Nuddy ding. Just spread all this muck around. No, he's not an abrasive fellow. Actually, since I go and see him, I'll ring him up while I'm going to see him. I find life goes a lot smoother. <laughs> should we keep the sandpaper jokes going all day or should I get Anthony up here to go, Papa, be quiet. Hello, Trace and Steve, if you're watching. Or Rita and Luke, how you doing? La -da -da -da. <whistles> now I really now I won't. Looks like that's had that type of glue on it before, so we'll put that on there again. Um, ba -dum -bum. Okie dokily. Here we go, Zos. Here we go. Some support under this. There you go. Get a knockometer. Things being equal, that should squeeze in when we put the other one on. There is the other one. With these, there are, it's, it's not a full strip down restoration. What I've actually done, oh, I don't know because I've got. We'll give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> I might do a dry fit first. Whoops. Of 
because that, and I reckon that, that should go okay. I, I hate the word should. So it's got glue down there. From before, but I think, I think we should be all right. If not, we just got to quickly pull it apart and re-drill the dowel holes. I don't particularly like doing that because if it's been joined before and it's got any imperfections on it, they obviously worked because it stayed together. And once you start drilling old dowel holes out to put the old dowels back in, you do run the risk of enlarging them and therefore you don't get as good a fit. And we'll see how we go. That has, this dowel on this side here has actually split out before. I can see where it's been broken on the rail. I'm pretty liberal with the glue. We can clean that up with water afterwards. But I think that's been, yeah, it has been re-glued. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. You know my theory on glue, you can never have a much. Enough, in most cases, there are some situations where too much glue is definitely not advisable. This is what I meant about <coughs> this. Whoever did the chairs up before, I would say split in here. You can see a split down there. But it's, oh, it's not too bad. So we'll put that in and see how we go. It should be all right. We'll give it a shot. And the thing I love about restoration work is it was broken in the first place. <laughs> Anything you do has got to be an, um, a bonus, as it were. Okay. Start it if you can. And then we'll try and clamp it up. Yeah, I can tell my tongue's hanging out now. There we go. Same on the other side. Oh, you annoying thing, you. Okie dokie. There we go. One side 
then the other side. Trouble here at the top. There's not much that doesn't succumb to brute force and ignorance when you've got a good set of clamps on. Maybe that was the one I was really worried about. But that's coming good. And so it's this one. Let me turn it around again. Oh dear. There we go. Come on, be nice to me. Slowly getting there. Bring this one up too. There we go. About a millimetre to go, because it had dry glue in it, I think. I'll just help it along. <whistles> okay, start taking this muck off now. It's a copy of a 1940s, late 1940s, early 1950s style. I think it was made in the 70s, judging by the screws and everything they used. Uh, thing is, it's part of a set. And it's got red, red velvet seat swabs that go in it. That looks quite nice. Oh, I think it's made out of Vic Ash. I'm looking forward to getting onto the rocking chair. That's going to be a fun one. Okay, so that one's okay. Oh, let me turn it around. It's always great, great practice. I, I'm surprised not more people do it, but have a bucket of water next to your bench. It's just the best thing. And all of a sudden you, you, you make a spillage and instead of having to run out to the tap or use a dry rag, you just reach down, grab your bucket of water. That's one of the first things I learned when I was working with Jeff Hanna. Have a bucket of water next to your bench. And even stuff that doesn't like water, in the main, 
it, if you spill water, say on French polish, and I'm sure you've seen it with a wine glass in the middle of a table where it's got wet and they've left it wet, yeah, you'll get a white ring. But if you threw a bucket of water over it, a, a French polish table, and then quickly took the water off and dried it, it won't have any effect. So it's not the water per se. What it is, it's the length of the time the water is left in contact with the finish that creates the problem. Okay. these two webs in. I really don't know whether to, to do that now or later. Perhaps we should do it now. See, the good thing is I've forgotten which side goes on where, but then I mark them and I look in here on the rail and this one goes here. So I think actually I might might even screw them in. Let's see if I can find some screws. Too short. Oh. Might have to go up. I used to have screw. Oh, this I've got. Used to have screw sets down here and up, up at the other shed. But the way things have been going, it hasn't happened. There we go. That's good, but I think that will come through the other side. That one looks good. Yeah, that looks all right. I'll just go up to the other shed and get some... Um, get some um, other screws. So there you go. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back in a tick. Oh, dear. There you go. You don't think you're getting away. You're not. What are you doing, Bob? You gonna come in? Hey, you gonna come in? Come on. Well, you stay there. Don't you get the mischief? Play up, cause Mum's not here. Let's do 
do do do do do do do That's better. I've got more now. out of that one okay these are a nice size they will do I'm thinking I'm hoping Bit of glue down that side. I don't get too carried away with these bits. Goes in there. And make this slide in a bit easier. A little bit of soap on the threads. And they should go in nicely. I'm hoping. What a useless screwdriver bit that is. I didn't want to use this one because it's a long one. That's one of those cheap and nasty ones. Yeah, it, it depends how much you pay for them, I think. Um, I've got some really nice AEG ones, and they are great, but I think that one I had there was a Craftmaster one, and it is hopeless. You do about three, three screws with it, and that's it. She's all over Red Rover. Straighten this out. Get that nail out of there. What I think I'll do too is just do a couple of clearance holes in this. Yeah, just follow the, the line that the screw went in, the nail went in, on both sides. And you'll find the screw will go in a lot easier. I can put soap on that one, didn't I? I will on that one. Here we go. I'll take that out and do that one too. There we go. Now 
like that. They're both poking out a little bit. So they should, I hate that word should, should line up. And they appear to. <laughs> Give it the acid test, put it down on the ground, and make sure she doesn't have a rock. <laughs> Which we will see. And you, and I'll do it so you can tell I'm not fudging. Way to test it, there's finger on both corners. One there and one there. Solid as a solid. Okay, that's good. So that's one job down. Let's have a clean up and a catch up. over there for the moment. That's what I was looking for and I couldn't find. Doesn't matter, we got, we got an extra couple of spare ones now. Oh. Yeah, I think that one can go in the bin, that screwdriver tip. How often, oh, it doesn't work and you put it back in the shelf. <laughs> I'm forever doing that. Oh, that doesn't work. Put it back in the shelf. I'll use it later. No, it doesn't work. Get rid of it. Throw it away. Okay. Let me just check. I think we're pretty right. I think we're pretty right. Yeah, we've got two bars on that one. I'll just go and check this one over here. Yeah, two bars on that, so we're all good. We're good. Thanks for the reminder, though. Appreciate that. You get so caught up in what you're doing. Uh, oh, duck. Ducksy. You started a trend there. This is the hammer I was using, mate. It's come here. There's nothing worse than a disobedient camera. There you go. That's it. It's a little ball paint hammer I picked up at a yard sale or something. It's a Stanley. Uh, let me see what's it got on there. No, it's just got Stanley. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. I bought this the other day. We can use it now. I've, I've got a use for it. I bought this on me, me little trip up to the harbour. <laughs> Jeez, I bought some rubbish I'll never use. But don't care. It's retail therapy. <laughs> da -dum -dum. 
Can't take it back now. I've opened it. There you go. Look at that. Oh, awesome. I didn't realize it's also got a light in it. How cool is that? That is magnificent. What sort of batteries does it take? I need a child. I can't open this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Three triple A's. Three triple A's. I've got some of them up here. Oh, dear. Three of these. Okay, so that one goes in there, that one goes that way, and that one goes that way. Oh, look at that, you get a little, look, cool. Is it got a, oh, gee whiz, it's bright. I guess it's got a switch somewhere. Oh, there you go. All right, oh, I'll fill you in. Here we go. We'll, we'll try it out. Well, now I've got to do two things. I've got to hold this and hold that. Really doesn't tell you much, does it? Stanley, that's all I can see. Stanley, Eng England. It's all it says. Stanley, England. Because there's a super bigger a hole down here that magnifies it even more so. Uh, but yeah, it's an unusual hammer. It's um, I wanted a tack hammer, which is a much smaller, thinner peen on it, but. That was the only one I could get, and uh, it has served me well for many, many years, mate. I like that. I'll put that on there if I want to see stuff. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I like that extra big one. It seems to get in the way. Where can I put that that I'll, I'll never use it? There you go. We'll put it over there like that, and then that can go in the bin, baby. Ah, now, what is it? Let me get up here a bit. Ah. Oh, Tim Tam, love Tim Tams. I don't know where that came from, but we're nearly out. We're now here and we buy them in the cartons. There's 24 packs to a carton. And when they come on special, we generally buy six cartons. That's two cartons of double choc, two cartons of chewy caramel. The Susie likes both of those. And then two cartons of dark chocolate, which I like. But unfortunately, the grandkids have decided they like them too, so they don't last as long as they used to. Have you got one of those fridges where stuff disappears? I had three chewy caramels in the fridge last night, one for Suey for a morning cup of tea, and I went there this morning and it was gone. Even the packet had gone. So there you go. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -bum. G'day, Matthias from Argentina. Welcome to the workshop again. Yeah, the, the, the slotted ones are dangerous, I reckon. I'm just reading back in the, the chat here. Getting away from all this doctor rubbish.
Oh, there you go. I'll, I'll have a look at one of those. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> they don't work. Mm. Do you want to be a mod duck? Then, I, then you can post links. I thought anyone could post links. There you go. Where's duck? Do you, do you, do you want to, you've got to ask Her Royal Highness if one of her subjects may be elevated to the dizzy heights of mod. If she says yes, we'll do it. I love that. Oh, dear. Yeah, square driver, good, Trevor. <laughs> Trouble is, I think they're commoner now, but before, you know, you'd have them and then you couldn't find the right bit to go in there, and oh, dear, oh, dear. Hi, George. Oh, that's it. I've got to check out Robinson screw bits then. We've done the battery check. A slate hammer, there you go. Never not familiar with that one. Yeah, oh, no, actually I paid cash for those. I look, it is ridiculous, isn't it? I, I much prefer paying with cash and, because if I've got cash in my pocket and I spend it, I've got nothing left, well that's it, go home. Credit card, no, you you can keep on spending way, way past what you want, especially if you've got a big limit. Oh, there you go, Duck. Well, we we are in we are in unison. We have the same we have the same hammers. Yeah, I did. I found the cards. They were in a blue four-liter ice cream container underneath my docking saw. Don't know. <laughs> Don't even want to go there. And it was weird because I knew that I had them when I went through Bunnings. So I was using my trade pass. So I knew I had them then and I came straight home and unpacked the car. And the only thing I could remember was I had a door handle in there and I couldn't find the door handle. And I figured once I found the door handle, I would then find the cards. Lo and behold, I was right. Yeah, they're good for a job. Oh, I don't like using metal on metal. That's the only thing, Duck. I much prefer having a wooden one or, or put a leather end on it. <clears throat> ba -da -ba -bum. Uh -oh, what have we got, Trevor? I just ventured out into her domain and she yelled at me. <laughs> Did you end up back in the corner with the dog, Trevor? <clears throat> oh, thanks, Mike. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Oh, I thought that was Fatso coming in. Um, that Bob, too. Don't get me in any more trouble. Uh, yeah, just for those wondering, the plaster trick with marketry, if you do some marketry, which we will be doing later on, I guarantee it, and you've got little voids and gaps between the veneer, if you just get a paste of plaster of Paris and water, or if I'm in a hurry, I'll use plaster of Paris and metho. There's one for you, Mike, plaster of Paris and metho, because it dries a lot quicker. And then you rub it all in, take it off with one of these things, a scotch bright or 320 uh, wet and dry. And then you, you, your design looks absolutely horrible. But get some raw linseed oil, rub the raw linseed oil into the plaster of Paris, the plaster of Paris turns translucent, and you've just got this beautiful flat surface for marketry. Another trick to avoid a lot of gaps, Mike, is what I call stage two marketry, and that is reverse marketry. In other words, you don't cut your design out looking at it, you flip it over and cut the design out from the back. The reason being your knife has a point on it like that. And if you're doing a top design, 
the thin part of the knife is going through to the back and where it meets you've actually got a wedge shape caused by the knife and that's where a lot of your gaps come from. But if you do it reverse, your front side is really, really fine in the cutting area and you don't get so many gaps. It does your head in though when you're doing a design, believe me, it, it, you go gaga. So you've got no one to keep your company in there either, Trevor. That's bad. Mate, I've got a couple of cockroaches here. I'll send one over. You can talk to him. They're good because they don't eat much. Oh. oh, look, Mike, honestly, I'm the wrong person to ask for that because I would say, no, nah, don't worry about the T fence. It's, I mean, I can freehand without a fence and be pretty darn close to the line. I think the more things you've got to make woodworking easier, the less skilled you're going to become because you're relying on accessories all the time. And save the money, buy something else, buy a spare saw blade with it or um, and buy another couple of hand planes or a good set of chisels. That's, that's my thought on it anyway. Um, you know, you go back to old school that we used to have with, in Australia particularly, the old Paul Call twin sets. Uh, which, no, I haven't got one anymore. I know where I can get one. I sold my last, I had three or four of them, and I sold the last one a while back. Uh, and, yeah, it's just, it's practice. And being confident. You know, when you compare what we started out using to the, the saw stop of today, um, I think they were far better tradesmen in the old days. But that's just me. Now I'm going to put this up here because I'm going to work on that later on. I'm going to do a bit of that. No, well, it's all right, mate, because you can kick it when you're finished. It's okay. There's a lot of them. Just, well, don't put a blue jersey on it. And it, Now, I tell you what, they're more friendly than cane toads when you're in confined spaces. And you can eat a cockroach, you can't eat a cane toad because they're poisonous. Oh, thanks, Chewy. Heart energy out to you. I, I, I really appreciate that. It's good to know that some good's coming out of it. I tell you what, though, boy, I'm sleeping well. Oh, said to Sue last night, I said, do you think I'm mad doing all these streams? She said, no, I think you're doing a good thing. But I am concerned you're pushing yourself too hard. So that was nice. I said, no, nah, it's all good. Mm. All right, let's put some stain on this. <whistles> hey, Lindsay. Thank you. I don't I don't know which bit of advice. I seem to be dribbling a lot of it lately. But <laughs> that's good. Oh, I don't know, MC. For, for um, yeah, big jobs, panel jobs for sure. But that's not to say you can't use a handsaw in a panel job. I think I've told you, or said it before, I had... Um, a couple of full sheets of plywood delivered to my workshop. Not here, this was somewhere else. And uh, I wanted to cut it up to put it in the racks. And it wouldn't fit on the saw table. And I just went and got a handsaw in this place. He said, you'll never do that. And when I did it, he said, that's straighter than the table. I said, yeah, well, you get that in big job. It's just practice. And look, a, a saw, honestly, I've said this before, I know. A saw, a sander, um, jigsaw, router, any of those, and this is my opinion only, is not 
a final solution to a job. All those tools do basically is they remove waste. They remove stuff you don't want. And then you finish it off with a hand plane or a sanding block or a hand scraper to get your finished width, your finished desire or whatever. I remember I used to have this chap used to come and um, spend his uni holidays with me. He was doing a, he ended up getting a doctorate in furniture making, but anyway. Um, and he made a table and it came out of a reputable furniture maker's workshop and brought it up to me because he wanted to finish it. And I took one look and I said, that's not near finished. He said, well, what do you mean? I said, look, it's got machining marks on the back of the table. It's got um, marks here and marks there. Oh, he said, what do I do, sand it out? I said, yep. He said, where's your sand? And I threw him a cork block. I said, I'll see you in a few hours. And I went away and did some other stuff and came back. And it did. It took him six hours. Started at 100 grit, went up to 400 grit with um, a cork block. And then underneath where his drawers were, they were just exposed drawers. So I said, no, that's not right. You've got to have a dust panel under there. So it, it, it's finished. Oh, I don't know. anyway, he put the dust panel underneath it. And um, he gave it to his brother as a wedding present. And apparently someone came in to his brother's place and saw it and said, oh, that's really nice. First thing he did, put his hand underneath the drawers, felt the dust panel, which had been right along, it was only three mil, but we'd veneered on the edge of the three mil to get rid of the plywood look. And he pulled it away from the wall and had a look down the back and it had all been dressed. And he looked at the, his guy's brother and he said, mate, whoever built that knew what they were doing, that's a good job. See, it's the little things. Whereas you take it straight off the saw, bang it together with a couple of nails, put a really nice coat of high gloss toffee apple on it and people think, oh, that's beautiful. Well, it, it might sort of serve the purpose, but it's aesthetic. It's not um, real. It's not created properly. It's just aesthetically pleasing, which doesn't mean to say it was made well. Oh, dear, I could put the word IKEA in there, but I won't. Oh, dear. Okay. Although, I might admit, I, IKEA is very, very clever. Okay, so that should be dry now, which it is good. So I can put that there. Now we can start on this one. And what I'm going to do, it's not too bad. It's got, I don't know if this is going to work, so we'll give it a, give it a shove anyway. You see here the wear, where, where, where? Uh, there. Yeah, you can see where it's worn. Here, obviously, where the arm's been and the sweat's hit it, and down the sides, and I would imagine down the front, yep, that's been worn too. Um, and just ordinary wear and tear, she started to crack here, crack here. Look, it's, it's not in too bad a nick. There's some wear over here on this arm as well. And the back panel's good. So I didn't have to replace that. So what I'm going to do is lightly sand those areas with, I don't know, I think I'll do 240. Where's my 240? Oh, brilliant. I haven't got any 240. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'll see if I've got any out here. If not, I'll do 220. Bada -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum. Whoops. What's that? 240. There you go. I, I knew I bought a box of 240. There you go. There you go. Let's. What's that? <whistles> Norton's no fill. That's what I like. It, it's good stuff. I think it's nice. Um, oh, give me three sheets. We'll cut those up. Put that back out there. 
I didn't tell you what I'm going to do today. Before the day's out, I'm cutting that bit of oak up. Sick of looking at it. Mm. I'll just cut these up into block sized pieces. That looks pretty good to me there. I'll get a kniff. And we'll do them half again. This way you get six. Pieces that you can use on a sanding block, or you get three pieces you can use on a third sheet sander, or two pieces you use on a half sheet sander. Okie dokie, let's just put that in there, and that can go down there, and I'll pick this up. Put that away before I stab myself with it. And, oh. Hey, Nada, how are ya? Hey John, welcome back mate. Well, welcome to the chat room of fun and frivolity. Hope you're feeling a little better today. Steve has... What are we? Oh, I'm going back five minutes. Here we go, okay. Hi, Lindsay. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh. G'day, Panda. Welcome. So he's going to love a new rocking chair. The stain is going to lift it to new one. <laughs> yeah, especially if she rocked in it a wet. I'd be lifting a new one. No, thanks, Princess. Oh, sorry, Your Highness. See, you're famous, Prunella. You're famous. Uh, oh, that's great, Lindsay. Good to hear. When you start doing some work, post some pics for us. G'day, Clinton. Welcome to the workshop, mate. Uh, what's in that finish you're using, Clint? Um, mate, I honestly don't know. It's a mix. <laughs> I don't know where it is now. It's a mix of um, two different colours. I think it's a mix of walnut and 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 and, and, and rosewood. Yeah, rosewood is really rich. It's almost a sickly, crimsony colour. But I think it's either three parts rosewood, one part walnut, or three parts walnut, one part rosewood. I forget. But it's a really nice Victorian sort of uh, mahogany colour. Mahogany itself is nothing like the colour that... People think when you say Victorian mahogany, um, but that was the colour it was stained. And in those days, they used to French polish it with a thing called dragon's blood shellac, which was basically what we've got here is garnet lac, which is pretty close, or button lac. Um, so that's what that is. It's a spirit-based one too. So the good thing about that, this has got a, um, a lacquer on it, a varnish. It's, uh, I'd say it was nitrocellulose finish which is good because this stuff actually melts it so I can blend in the old finish with the new colour, which I'll do, and then I'll, um, I'm going to put finishing oil on it to finish it. Handsaws are good for everything. You can play a tune on a handsaw. My most musical one's up in another shed though. <laughs> the thing is, when you get to my age, everything's practice, mate. <laughs> it is, because you, f you forget things.
Steve has been, I even thought of it. <laughs> Well, nice to be thought of, but for nice things, Duck. <laughs> Today is going well. No, it's John you're talking to. Well, that's good. See? You're welcome, mate. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that, John. That's nice. They're a good bunch of people in there. You tell them, Prunella, we have done our job correctly. That is so right. So are you mounting a saw under a duck or is it an extension to an existing saw table? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Chewy. I like IKEA designs. I think it's very, very clever. But they've made it so it's as thin as it can possibly be. <clears throat> yeah, I think 1887 was when this design first came out. But I can tell you this isn't one that was made in 1887. Lovely, neither. I, I love that. Addicted already. Uh, must admit, I, this, I enjoy coming down here. And then I, I fluff around and as soon as I put the timer on, oh, that time flies so quickly. Oh. It, this chat just jumps. Yeah, I know. I should put it on slow. It's all right. <laughs> mate, I, Doug, I don't have to have a change in the weather, mate. I just have problems keeping to a task. That's why this is good. You yeah, don't forget, Julian, they did make some rubbish in that those days too. It's only the good stuff that survived. Yeah, look, I, I like a lot of Victorian stuff, but some of it's a bit, uh, especially the hangover from the, um, oh, crikey, what was the phrase? William Kent and all that, the, <laughs> I'm going blank. Uh, oh, what's it called? <laughs> oh, it'll come to me in a minute. There was a very heavily peri heavy period where they went in for a lot of ornamentation. And, uh, yeah, it, it was a bit over the top. Oh, what was it? Yeah, it'll come to me. I'll go and look it up in a minute. That's good, John. Bless you. Hard energy out to you. I hope you can, can feel the love in the room. I've got, if you haven't had that, you've got the word in the back of your head and it's pronouncing, but it doesn't quite go from there to there. Oh, Rococo, that's it. The Rococo period, or Rococo, where uh, everything was heavily ornamented. But I think the, when you're coming off, I like George, Georgian furniture, that's nice. But when you're coming off the Victorian, getting into the um, Edwardian stuff, that's nice. Hey, hey, look, she's back. She's back from the deep. Well, he, but they're, they're Bob wants to come in. Yeah, well, he's coming in anyway. Why? Well, you didn't give him any of his apple, your apple thinger last night. Did you get, was there still more stuff up there for you yeah, to get? Yeah, i tell you what, the price had gone up. And I said, hey, you got it yesterday at that price. Oh, all right, I'll give it to you. And, ooh. Almost doubled in price. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it was. Yeah, Susie had to go and get some more. Oh, Duck wants to know, can, can we, maybe, if you don't want to stream it live, I'll come up there and we'll video you making the mask because people yeah. here want to know how to make the mask. Absolutely. So we can... <laughs> Have you noticed the way I've banned her from being on telly? This is your surprise you haven't seen yet. 
Oh, oh hang on. Oh, oh shoot. Mm. Who what? Who are you shooting? Oh, no one. No. Okay. No, no. It's the house of love. Yes, I agree. Yeah, this. I agree. Yeah. You need your sunnies. I needed me sunnies for driving. Oh, oh there you go. The kids all right? Yep. Excuse us, we're just catching up. I haven't seen this since I came down here. Yep, That's they're good. fine. They didn't. <laughs> That is, yep, they're fine. That means they played up and I jumped on the heads and they're no, good now. No, 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 I'm going to move that out the I way. I just went and bought them pizza bread, Ziva. Pizza bread? We're going to have pizzas tonight. No, oh, yeah, probably, but no. Susie's I've got that. I've got to have a thing yeah. removed. Not a husband. No, not a no. husband. No, it's, it's no. not major surgery. Just some. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, hang on, we're at 1.46. Let's go down here because everyone's going to be going, Hi, Sue. Here we go. The boss is in. Chewie's got you. Duck's got to say hello, Mum. Well, my day's not complete. Oh, good day, Max. Sneaking in there. Uh, what sort of voice you got there, Steve? Where, where, which one? I got heaps. Pick them in those isn't one of them. Um, I've got a record 52 and a half, I've got Dawn 9 inches, and I've got H&T Gordon, bench vices. The boss is in. Oh, there you go, Duck, look at that. Oh, two hearts out. You call him Duxy. Duxy, Duxy. Oh, see, Prunella, you got competition. <laughs> she calls him Duxy. <laughs> Jeff says, good morning, Julian says, <laughs> boss in the house. John says, hello. Say hello to John. Hello, John. You've got a son. We, we, you. We've got, We've got a son called John. We do. He was always loving the room where you are. Oh, Max, you're so nice. Yeah, that's a one Prunella. Yeah, and I think sort of when it went into Victoria and it carried some of that over. Nada says, hi, Sue. We're all around the world. You're, in, yeah. you're famous. Woodstock, where's Bob? Oh, where's Bob? Hang on, wait Bob's a minute. Bob's just lying wait a on minute. the ground. Wait a minute. God. Your, your media tart, yeah. There you go. There he is, the Bobster. He's <laughs> he's getting old, poor old fella, mm. isn't he? Hey? Yes. That's all right. Oh. You got a, You got a say. I didn't know if you'd have a saying. Oh, for I've you. got a saying. Hang on, I'm going. George says hi to Wombat. Says hi to Max. Says ah, oh, young love. It's, isn't it nice? Howdy. Uh, I don't feel young anymore. I don't know about young love. Well, I've never felt young. I feel old. I've, I've never felt young because she's older than me. <laughs> I know, but I'm getting deeper. I can't. <laughs> no, I'm the same age as him as next week. That's why you're getting a rocking chair because you're old granny. I'm going to put a couple of flashbangs under the backs. <laughs> Bang! Whoa, what was that? Uh, yeah, that'd be right. Flash, <laughs> bang. No, oh, no, we, we we have discussed it actually, Doug, getting another dog. But no, Bob Bob likes he likes to be the only human in the house. And, <laughs> and I have a problem with that. Yes, but we have discussed getting another dog, haven't we? At some point. We did. Yes. Age is just an, mate. I don't like to think of it as of age. Think of it. As the number of times you've gone around the sun. See, it takes all the pressure. I've been around the sun 65 times. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Happy was not your tummy? <laughs> very, very. Okay, Susie's special sensational saying of the day. Here we go. Kind heart. Fierce, blind. What's that? Mind. Oh, mind. <laughs> Brave spirit. That's me. I've got a kind heart, a fierce wife, but I'm brave spirit. Trevor, can you relate to that? That's nice. That's good. I was, I was going to, if I can find some MDF. I'll tell you what, can you slip that other one down that we did the other day? Which one? Um... <laughs> Mate, I think I'm up for the long sleep, never mind sleeping in the shed. 
Uh, <laughs> that one about do whatever sets your heart on fire, your soul on fire. Was yeah. it yesterday? If you can bring that down, I'll put that in the frame, I All think. Right. Oh, and a um, rotary cutter. Can you bring down a rotary cutter? Because I don't know where mine is. Please. <laughs> Take one. Don't go huh, me. Take one out of my shed if you have to. Whose PQ 1500 no, no, sewing mine. machine do you use? Mine. Oh, we've discussed this before, haven't you? What's yours is yours and what's mine's yours. Yeah, okay. Yes, he's good. Blind, no, no. Who's the one that uses it? I think it's meant to be mine. Who's the one that's not allowed to use it? Me. Oh, dear. All right. Can you let me go so I can go get the other one? All right, then. You must, yeah? Make sure you get... <laughs> not going to happen. All right, give them oots. Any not... mail? What? I don't know. You're not going to spread any germs to me, are you? We're giving you a kiss. I don't inhale. Oh. I kiss safely. Oh. It's like a cigar kiss. You don't inhale. <laughs> all right. So it's one about your soul, all right. I beg, beg your pardon? <laughs> I said it's one about your Oh, your soul. I thought you said it's one about our soul. Oh, I'm going to go. Excuse me. A soul. A soul. No, but it's your one. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's long. Oh, dear, it's a long day. Where did I get out there before she interrupted me, Bob? Oh, there you go. No, move, 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 move. Oh, okay, I just had a thought while I was doing that. Um, I might be better off using wet and dry, but I'll see how I go and because this is going to abrade it, but as I said before, the, uh, the, 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 <laughs> it's a long day. The stain is going to melt the finish. So, no, I think that'll, no, this will, this, this will do just swimmingly. So I'm just going to, I could pull it all the bits, but I really don't, I don't want to. Or should I? Should I pull it all the bits? I don't know, I'm just going to do this bit, these couple of bits here. I don't think I need to. But if I do need to, I will. And you go and pull it to bits, pull it to bits. No, because it means I've got to put it back together again. Oh, I don't think the cats will worry about it. Okay, I'm just going to put some finish on that and see how it comes up. I oh, should ring Theo up. Yeah, yeah, I'll ring Theo up, see what he's up to. Oh. Hey, everyone. For those of you who don't know Theo, I know a lot of you do. Um, we used to do joint streams together. He would do, he would do wood turning and I'd give him a hard time. He's not talking to me now. No, that's it. Not there. That's all right. He might ring me back. Oh. It's one thing I'd like to say I, I never experienced was a mother-in-law's kiss, Trevor. Ba -da -da -ba. 
Yeah, that's I. Oh, here we go. Look at this. <laughs> we'll, we'll get with the burlies rung me back. Theo, mate, you're live and around the world, you famous wood turner, you. <laughs> oh, it's amazing sitting in your own lounge room talking to people right across the world. It's uh, incredible. That's yeah. it. Well, Duck, Duck just turned his lathe on and he had a, a light speeds from your um, the, 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 the videos. A, a what? He had, a what? I'll read it out. Oh, I had my wood lathe turning some wood the other day, just a light speed from Theo's turning. Oh, just light speeds away from what you did. In other oh, words, a long, long way away. But yeah, <laughs> have you started videoing yet? No, no, I'm just setting up my uh, third camera. I've been playing around with the GoPro, but um, I'm not... Um, I'm not totally happy with it. I want to get the best quality possible, so I'm looking at buying a, a HDMI cam camera that goes through my, you know, Blackmagic ATM Mini, um, and that way I've got all the controls in one box, and um, it'll be a lot less to think about um, and a lot more fluid. So, there you go. Uh, well, people are talking to you, and you can't. Theo, Tre Trevor, say good day, Theo. Oh, good day, Trevor. Prunella, <laughs> who's now been exalted and promoted to Queen of the Moderators, oh, says hi, well, hi Theo. Ray Herring said he's still waiting for the photo. Chris <laughs> Pato. Uh, as is Laz. Uh, unbelievable. I've got both those. Yeah. I, I sort of switched the, switched the world off. I've got my daughter here at the moment with our little baby Stella. She's uh, just, uh, I think, uh, 10, 11 weeks today. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and uh, oh, it's uh, yeah, good times. But I'm the thing is, I'm not going to give her a cuddle. So, um, but that's okay as long as she's here, and uh, we you just got to. Well, you did get out of the distance. get out of the turning shed, but I better go because I'm, I'm going yeah. off here. Um, but no, well, they just well, wanted to know if you were still alive and well, uh, mate. Yeah, yeah. No, when I start uh, live streaming, it'll be with a vengeance because I'm, I've got, I'm so happy with my setup and. Um, well, don't I'm forget, to... don't forget social distances with a vengeance standing next to you. Yeah, well, <laughs> with the vengeance. Yeah, well, that's why when I talk to my friends on mobile phone, I always talk hands free. Apparently, that's a lot better. Oh, you're a skite and you got friends. <laughs> All right, all right, mate. I'll catch up with you later, and we'll have a coffee next April. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, we could always go to drive in McDonald's and um, and sit in our cars in the car park. Yeah, then I'll get a coffee and they'll send me drone over with it hanging off the bottom. <laughs> yeah. All right, mate. I'll catch you later. Okay. Good to hear from you. See you. Cheers, See you, mate. Everybody. Bye. There you go. There, wheelbarrows alive and well. Oh. Well, there you go. Well, I'm, I, I'm pretty happy with that because I don't keep tigers, so I'm not going to have one. So, well, you heard that, Max, the, the, uh, the grandchildren are good, and I would say Stella's pretty good too. Oh, well, if you read the chat, I'll pass that one on, Julian. Do you know who made this rock and chair design? Oh, I was rocked in one of... Yeah, um, I did. <laughs> I think it was a German chat. I think. Um, it was about 1887. Yeah, I, I hope he does, but he fluffs around. <laughs> Prunella, I hope he does. Oh, dear. All right, let me try a bit of this, and I'm going to move that over there. Oh. And we're going to pour some of this on here, and I reckon I'm much better off doing this a different way. Oh! Oh, yes. Oh, that is just. How's your father on that? Let me, let me bring this around. Hello, Bobbo. 
Bobbo the Diddleo. Cables everywhere. Look at this when I hit when I hit this. Does that come up nice or what? So very, very happy with that. I'll just have a look. Look, see in here. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put that actually into one of those little containers I use because it's going to be easier to dip my rag than um, keep trying to pour it out of that. There we go. And then if I knock that over, I only waste that amount. Whereas if I knock the other thing over, I waste a lot more. Here we go. Are you ready? What's happening in there? That needs a bit of bog or something or other. <whistles> that looks nice. So in here, <coughs> I'm going to put a little bit of party. I'm not going to mask it off because I'm just going to quickly do that. And we'll knock that off a little bit later. It doesn't matter about the colour because the stain's going to change the colour. I tell you what, I think I'm going to get a far better um, result if I do pull it apart. So that's it. I'm going to pull it apart. Keep an eye on where I put all the bits, people. Or I'll soon might not be getting her birthday present at all. I'll give, <laughs> so I do, I'll give it to her in three milk crates and so I just bought it from Ikea. <laughs> it's, it's a put-together job. Some assembly required. Okay. Now, this looks all very good and interesting. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, tell you what, you don't get things put together like this anymore. What? I think that's the right choice. <clears throat> oh. Must admit, I'm impressed with the construction. Ah, it's falling. I'm melting. <coughs> a couple of screws there. That's interesting. Missing four screws. Whether or not they're meant to be there, I don't know. Well, 
Yep, missing a couple of screws. So they just, whoa, sorry, Bob. I was trying to do two things at once, wasn't it? Bada bum bum. There we go. So, could well be a, a trip to the hardware shop to get some of those screws. Like a machine screw. Boom, 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 boom. So I've we'll put all these screws in different containers. I will then just can't get those mixed up because they're different sizes. Go. <clears throat> bum, ba, dum, bum. Let's go all so you can see everything that's going on. Did any, anything come apart with that? No. Ooh. Aha! It has more. side and we don't get them confused to catered. It's out of there, these two come out of here. What's the SAS Special Air Service motto? Who dares wins? There you go. This is interesting. That's it. Oh, that was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. We might just start cleaning that up. Oh, what are we up to? Hmm. Oh. 
Well, we'll get there. Label everything. What? And take the fun out of it. Mate, this is, I know I like doing jigsaw puzzles that don't have the picture. <coughs> oh, that price was Prunella. I should ring him up and tell him that. Oh, dear. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Yeah, I think I'll have to go on. They're set screws too. They're not just ordinary screws. Though my, my strengthening resolve of the 1970s by the look of those screws, that's 50 years old now. <clears throat> uh, where'd you send it to, Max? Send it to admin at woodworkingmasterclass.com.au or woodworkingmasterclass at gmail. Makes no, never mind. Yeah, it wasn't sort of a blokey movie, was it, Mark? Yeah, hit eight degrees. Oh, that's warm. I don't think. <laughs> you got to go and get a bottle of rum, Mark. No doubt about you, Penelope, you're a trick. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, we'll see how we go rubbing this stuff back. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, I lost me, lost me sandpaper. <laughs> what, what do you reckon the odds are of losing all the screws? Here we go. All I just want to do really is get all the, the dead stuff off. I don't want to take it back to, although, how would it look if it was just raw? I don't know. No, I like it dark. I like it dark. Let's try a bit of... 220. Mm. What have we got? We've got anything interesting in that shot? No. What about that shot? Nah, that's not interesting either. So we'll, we'll keep it on this shot. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately, but, you know, the market took it. So I guess you can't grumble too much. I mean, the, the process and everything is very, very clever. But, yeah, totally automated. And, and I had, we bought some cupboards to put in the kitchen up on the wall from Ikea. And one of the glass shelves broke. And I rang up to get a, a quote to get the grub because it had been polished and rounded. And it was cheaper to buy a new cabinet with the shelves rather than just, ow, that was genuine, rather than um, just buy the glass. So, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's a bit sad. I cut the glass myself and we, we fixed it. We did. We fixed it. it, 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 it. <coughs> <coughs> 
Well, welcome back, Mario. We've missed you. Nothing has happened in your absence. That's another good reason for giving it a sand. Get rid of those little surprise splinters that just got me. But it is. Oh, it's going to be nice. It will. But -ba -ba. It's hard to imagine you in the bikini wearing socks, Brunella. I'm sorry. The, the, the two just don't go together. It's just maybe my mind, I don't know. It was spanners, right and left spanners. And it had on one spanner, it was in the casting too, it was right, R-I-G-H-T, and the other one was reft, R-E-F-T. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. You've got to have fun. feeling much nicer. Must admit. If you're colorblind, you may just have to have... No, if you're colorblind, you have the socks whatever colour you like. Because to you, they're going to be the same colour, but it'll do everyone else's head in. That's what I reckon. Left-handed screwdriver. Hey, I've got a left-handed axe. Have I got it here? What's up in the truck? Or is it here? No, I do. I have a left-handed axe. And if, if no one believes me, I'll go and get it. I'll, I'll show you. I like the left-handed coffee cups. They're good. What they are, there's a, there's a company in New South Wales that used to make them. And... They were a normal cup like that. Oh, it was just a normal cup, but it had a quarter inch hole drilled in that side. So if you used the right hand, <laughs> when you tipped, it had dribbled down the front of your shirt. So you had to use it in the left hand so it wouldn't leak. So there you go. Done. <clears throat> Is your workshop, Bob, in this in a separate building? No, I've got this, there. There's this workshop, Bob. There, if that's the one you're talking about, there he is. He wants to go out. So he's showing me his best side. Do you want to go out, mate? Have some food. Look at the tail go. I was excited. I was excited. Go on, let you go. No, I'm fortunate, John. I've got um, a few sheds on my property, and they're all set up for. 
different things. So this is my main woodworking shed that I do a lot of the filming in and also most of my work. But then I have a wood turning shed that's dedicated to wood turning because it's such a messy preoccupation. Um, and then I've got a blacksmithing shop that's got a forge and anvils and everything in it. And then I've got a mechanics garage, which is set up for doing cars. And I was going to have another one, but my wife decided she wants that as another sewing room. Like, how many sewing rooms do you need? Fair dinkum. They should be happy with one. But no, no. So that's a, a construction job I have to do shortly, is building new walls so we can she can not we can have a, another sewing room Where you start and you don't know when you're finished. This is going to be an inside chair. If it was going to be an outside chair, what I would do where it rocks, I would actually inlay some brass. But I asked Susie yesterday, I said, is it going to be an inside chair or an outside chair? She said, no, inside, in the bedroom next to the bed. I think she's having a go at me there, but anyway. Where, that bed's going to get finished. I'm looking forward to getting onto it. Oh, I was meant to do, do some work on those boxes today. I have to do that when I stop streaming, I guess. <sighs> okay. Whoa! Okay. Well, we might just stay in this one and then that can dry. You will notice that I haven't pulled the other one apart whilst this one's apart. That way, if I get stuck, I can go, oh, where does that go? Five sewing rooms is the legal limit. I, I think I think three should be ample. Mind you, woodworking sheds, you could have 15 of them. Because they're useful, you see, you can get a lot of things done. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. I mean Steve, not Bob. Okay, hang on, where we go? Is your shop more in a separate Yes, yes it is. But well, I guess I'll answer that question. But you must want to get a more intelligent answer from Bob, so that's okay. <coughs> five, Steve. Five sewing rooms, is it? Yeah, well, yeah. I'm not even going to bring that up with her. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, if you're new, see, I'll keep forgetting. If you're new, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button, if you like what I do. Oh, hey, Prunella. Did you ring her up? Hey, what do you want? 
What, what's going on? You came to make an offer. What, to me? Should I turn the mic off? What's going on? Now, tell you, careful you don't tread on your chair. If people want to see how I make the mask, that's cool. How about if I bring the machine down here at some point, rather than you having to take everything up to my messy sewing room, I'll bring a portable table down. Oh! Did you see what Prunella wrote? No, I didn't. I was, on, I was just having... I was just <coughs> expressing a, a, a mild opinion. opinion of the fact that you need another sewing room and that's rubbish. I do. And... Desperately. Prunella goes... Five, Steve. Five sewing rooms is the legal limit. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, is it see? That's it. I'll go with that. My goose is cooked. Cook half it. <laughs> You're not taking no. Now Throw you half of his stuff yeah. out and take over. Yep. Yeah. So, all right, well, what we'll do when I finish these boxes, so say yeah. after after Wednesday. Yeah. Well, and then I could, we then. we could have a sewing thing, and I could make some aprons. Well, you've got no special rubber needles left so I don't hurt myself. No. no, I just thought rather than you having to bring everything up to my sewing room, which is an absolute mess and I'm going to have to clean it up if you're going to do that. Do you think that's a good idea, people? Mm. I'll just ask the masses. I think it's an excellent idea. Yeah. So that means I've got to tidy this shed up too. Oh, no, this is tidy compared to... Is it? <laughs> Mine's terrible. Oh, uh, dear. No, we can do that. That's a good so idea. I figured that that would be easier. Uh, Less for you, anyway. Yes, good idea. To the sewing room. Sounds like a plan. You need to... You need... You do need. You don't need five. Racing on... Racing, you need multiple shop... Oh, sorry. Panda. Do you need multiple shops for woodworking because there are so many different parts of woodworking, storage, turning, cutting, finishing, staining, painting, just to name a few? Storage. Yes, I do. Normal people don't. But when we bought this property we live in, um, I know people have heard the story before, there was a photograph of what? Three big sheds and another one which is... And a laundry tub. Yeah. Yeah, and I said, oh, I'll have it. And the real estate agent said, do you want to see the house? I said, oh, is there a house as well? I mean, Mrs. could be interested in that. So we came, we saw, we bought. Yeah. And we've added a few more structures since. And there's no space. It just gets filled up with stuff. And people. <clears throat> and then we bought a 36-foot a caravan, which is an old 1975, what's the brand, Sheridan or something or other? Um. Yeah, Chelsea. Or Chelsea, something. Chelsea, yeah. Um, just to put stuff in and then kids came home and they said, oh, that's a good idea. Could we sleep in that? So all of a sudden it goes from being a material storage room for Susie to a sleeping quarters for the kids. And now they might come all home. We'll have to work something else out. But, yeah, it's good to have it. Mm. And it was just meant to be Susie and I and we went, Sue and I, first time in how many years? What did we work well, out? At that stage, it was about 35, but now it's 40, 43. In 43 years, we have had, what, six months? Yeah, probably. Six months without kids in 42 years. Because when we left, we had a big house on the Gold Coast. It was a bit of a six-bedroom yeah. joint. Um, all the kids moved out, so we moved here. This is, what, four bedrooms, I suppose. Yeah. And we thought, oh, that'll do. That'll do us. And then we were here for maybe a few weeks, and ex-daughter-in-law and grandkids rolled up, and then my mother-in-law no. rolled up, and then one of my kids came home, and then we got up to nine, I think it was, and then we went down to seven, and then mother-in-law passed away, we dropped down to six, and daughter-in-law took off <laughs> <laughs> and left us the kids. It was very nice of her. So then we were down to five, no, four, and then one of my other sons moved home, so it went up to five. So that's it at the moment, isn't it? Five. Yeah. But, Steve and Luke, if you're listening, you're still more than welcome home, boy. That's it. That's a plug from Mum. Yep. I've already said that. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah. I'll peg Dad on the closed one. <laughs> at least I'll get pegged. Oh, family show. Um, <laughs> did you... 
Can you, what? No, that's it. That's what you came down to ask. Yes, that's what you, Everyone says, great idea. They all reckon it's good. <laughs> hey, Wes, how are you, mate? Hey, Angie. Louise says, good idea with the sewing. Yeah. I've got room for visitors too, but no one's allowed in here now. <laughs> <laughs> Steve said he needs 15 sheds. Listen to the man. He knows what he's talking about. He's a goldcaster. He understands these things. Nah, didn't work. I tried. Mate, I tried. I appreciate the effort. You got a bit of... Where did he have been hanging around with long hairs? Mm. Well, probably probably yours. Probably mine. Could be too. All right. All right, bye everyone. All right, darling. Yeah, no. Nice. We'll do that. We'll do that next week. Yep. No, that's fine. Yep. So that's it. Sewing mask. Adobe says yes. Sewing mask. Please, please. Wasn't that a Beatles song? Please, please me. <laughs> Something like that. I'm dating myself. She's off. And running. Oh, thanks. Where's time to stay? Put more sleep cabins out. I've got a couple of acres. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, she's off. She's off and running. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I personally, I'd soak, <laughs> I'd soak them in whiskey for a couple of days. Because <gasps> that alcohol will kill the germs. It's good. Actually, what we've done, uh, <laughs> it's, I can think of worse places to sleep, Max. What we've done, we've ordered one of those... Um, Oh, what are they called? Uh, UVC lights. And they reckon it kills germs. So you go on Google, and typical Google, there's an article that says, no way in the world, no, it won't kill germs. And then another article is absolutely awesome, it kills germs. So anyway, we've got one of those on order, and I have to order some um, tubing plastic tubing for heat shrink because what I want to do with my chopping boards is when I've finished them is put them in heat shrink and that way they're not going to get marked or dirty and then we thought the same with Susie's masks so we can make it put it in a shrink bag uh, put it under the light so that'll kill anything that's in there supposedly, and then when you get them, they'll, they'll basically be sterilised. So there you go. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say that, Mark, but no. Yeah, rum would be, I suppose. Buttered rum, there you go, because then you get your vegetables as well. You get your dairy as well. Oh, uh, He may, I tell you, my first shed, uh, my, who was this? Six knots. Yeah, my first shed was two tea chests wide and would have been about five tea chests long. And I'd, I had a, a black and decker orbital sander, a black and decker, they were green ones, or olive drab, black and decker jigsaw and might have been an orange. Black and Decker drill. That was it. Who knew? All these years later, I'd be doing all this stuff. But Bob's house, Bob gets the house. He's funny. If it's hot, and we go to bed, he goes, climbs up on the, he won't, he won't get on his bed if it's not made. He gets on, because he's got a couple of mattresses there, and um, actually, I've got to put a new bag on there. I might do that tomorrow. And a blanket, right? And if it's roughed up, he sits on there and scratches it and crunches all the, the mattresses up, and then he'll sit there and look at me like that, and I'll get off. And he gets off, and I have to flip the mattresses, make them straight, put his blanket on, take all the creases out, 
And then he goes, plop. And then he'll wait just until we're about to go to sleep. And if it's a hot day, he'll scratch on the door, basically saying, Oi, you got an air conditioner on in there, it's hot out here. Which I don't mind, but what I do object is two o'clock in the morning, he's had enough of the air con. So then he gets up and you've got to get out of bed to open the door for him. But I wouldn't swap him for anything. I, Sue would, she, she'd swap him for a second hand mini moak. But, but I just love dogs. Although she does take a hard line on but I think she's a bit soft on him too. Really. When I'm not there, she looks after him. basement. I have to share with me missus. Mate, my, I think I'd be buried in the basement if I had the basement. It's good to share space. Where'd that bog go? I don't want that one on this one. Oh. As I said before, I'm not even bothering taping these ones off because it's all going to get stained and had the job been finished, I would take this off, but I'm just being a bit slack at the moment, because I can. So I've got to go see if I can find some of those set screws, if I've got any anywhere. You started on the book, okay, good on you, Wes. Want to see some pictures as it progresses too, mate. Yeah, hey, mate, you want to see, you want, you want to see, Mark, you want to see, I'll show you. I got some old B&D stuff here. Oh, oops. How does that fit in there and then it won't come out? How does that work? There you go. Here you go, mate, here's a bit of history here. Oh. There you go. Feast your incumbent eyeballs on it. Hang on, just put me little phone thing out of the microphone. There you go. Where are you? Look at him. Black and Decker. It's a router. Mate, you don't get them like this anymore, I tell you. Look at that. And it still works as good as the day it was bought. And then the next one up, hang on, but I'll show you, I'll show you the next, the next generation. Oh. I mean, have a look at the thickness of the cord. You don't get that anymore. That's real cord, that. And that was in the metal box with all the bits and pieces. Uh. And then they went from the metal box Two. There you go. Black and Decker again. Then they went to a plastic box. And have a look at the thickness of the cord on that. That is so much thinner. But these still still good routers. And um, I've got 
three of those. And then DeWalt bought them out and they were all um, quarter inch chuck. I think it had a 5 16th collet in it as well. And then DeWalt bought them out, changed the colour and went to a half inch. See, you're getting less than <laughs> tools here. And then, they, then they went to a half inch chuck and that's... Ugh, this one here, I'll see if I can find the DeWalt sticker on the... There you go. No, it's not. Get out there. There you go. So then that was the DeWalt one that um, came out after the Black & Deckers. It's very hard to do freehand, you know. But no, they're good. I like them because they've got my chromatal uh, threads on them. So you can screw it down. That was obviously a precursor to the um, plunge routers, which we have today. Oh, that won't stop you from buying tools once you got them all. Um, just started, well, all three aspects, I thought it <laughs> Yeah, good luck with that, Julian. <clears throat> I love it, we get, well, why, it's my room, and Sue always goes, yes, but my house, my house, my rules. <gasps> I've been thinking about getting a Dremel, would make some dull work easier doing mods. And so forth, shame that. Um, have you got a compressor, Prunella? Because you can get some really nice air tools. Very, very cheap. I've got a, I've got a Dremel. I'm not a huge fan of it. I bought it because it was cheap. I gave it to my son. Um, yeah, anyway. Whatever, whatever's going to be quickest, Julian. I would say whatever's going to be quick. You can get side offices and put them on, on your block. It depends. The dearest part, I, I believe, with any construction, is the concreting. My goodness, you've seen the price of concrete. It costs an absolute fortune. Max, how do you hospitalise steroids? Could they use disinfectant, metho, ultralight that you were talking about? How do you? Oh, yeah, this light's just, it's like the, um, the barbers using their barber shops. Oh, I don't know how it works, but we thought it was a good idea. The other thing um, dentists use is a vacuum chamber. They put it in, it heats it to a certain temperature. Um, I don't know if they have fluid in there or not. And then they turn this vacuum pump on and whoosh, sucks it all out. I know because I've got a vacuum pump out of one of those dental uh, machines. That's my vacuum pump for veneering. It came out of a dentist's surgery and that's what they're used for. I don't know, we'll give it a go, see what happens. It can't hurt. Oh, good. Wes, I'll have a look when I go up. You had to argue with the farms. Well, I hope you won, mate. Yeah, it's an ultraviolet light, but they call it um, UVC or something or other. There's all sorts of these UVA, UVB, UVC. I don't know. But we'll give it a shot. We've ordered it anyway. Fingers crossed, mate. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I actually, I've got... I forget how many I've got. Let me see. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight routers, I think, I've got. Might be nine. No, nine. Yeah, nine routers I've got. 
And and then router planes as well, but they don't count as routers, do they? Yeah, well, um, the ones I use, I don't know if... No, it's up in the other shed. Cost me $20. Um, it is a fairly high drain, so you need to have at least a 13 CFM um, compressor. So that would be a minimum of a two-pot. Three-pot would be easy. And, um, yeah, it was $21. It goes 60,000 RPM, which is a lot faster than the Dremel. And your bits are a lot cheaper. Just a thought, just a thought. Oh, are we getting through this stuff or what? Oh, no, put that over there. Oh, we are. We are. I'm down to the last, last bit of this one. And we'll stain it. Crash, bang, wallop. Um... Oh, tomorrow morning, John, exactly the same time, mate. We'll be every day for as long as I can do it. <clears throat> you have a good day. God bless you, all right? Try and put a, a, a barrier up. Stay grounded. See you, Mark. Catch you tomorrow. Thanks for dropping in. What a bummer. Whoa! Nice buy, Wes. Now, I've already stained this, so I'm sort of undoing what I did, but it doesn't matter. Because we'll have it all looking good. Then what I will do is wax some stain on. <clears throat> then by the time I've finished stain, the stain will be dry because it's a spirit-based stain which dries very, very quick. I will put a coat of oil over the top and leave that. And then later on today, I'll give it another coat of oil. Then tomorrow... It should be ready to all go back together again. And once it's all back together, I might give it another coat of oil and then a wax. And it will be all schmicko. Looking good. Oh, another splinter. Ah! Oh, I nearly did said ouch. Oh, that mongrel went in deep. There we go. Sh looking good. See, the guy I bought this uh, chair off, he wanted to be kept the prize of... Just going to get a knife and get that splinter out because it's starting to hurt. Um, how the chair's going, so I'll send him a photograph of that. Morning, Pascal. How are you? Appreciate you dropping in and saying hi. Okay, got these things to do here now. And we're nearly. We are nearly done on this side. Actually, I've got a 
local hardware shop down the road, which I think I'll go to if I can't find these screws or what. It means I've, I'm sick of driving. I look, I'm not saying I like this lockdown sort of caper, but it is nice not to have to go anywhere. Going through, going through the 220 here in a great rate of knots. That's looking better. Okie dokie. Have I done that one? I've, I've done them all. All right, let me just clean this off. Oh, yeah. oh I'm looking look forward to fixing my compressor, I tell you. Although I suppose when you think about it, doing that's healthier. Oh dear. A long way down there. Where's me? What's it? Oh, there you go. So I prompted you to get your route, Rad. I like that. And can we can we watch your video of you using the router? Because I want to know if, if, if people give you a hard time too. <clears throat> oh, isn't that nice? It was all cheerful. Uh, all right. Oh, I tell you that that's stinking, stinging. Stinking, stinging. Oh, just get all the dust out of my mug. There we go. Yuck. Oh dear. There you go. Good now. You know, I'll just get a, just get a cup of water happening here. But I'll hold it because it'll fall over otherwise. we go. Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay. I'm, I might just take a photograph of this so I can send it to the bloke I bought the chair off of. There you go. Done. Sure, the bog. Did I put any bog on this one? Yep, that's dry. All right, bring me a little bowl of stain over. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to get much of a shot of this or what? Not much to really see there, is it? But anyway, we'll we will persevere. Oh, that's nice.
Trouble is my hands are going to be this colour now. For ages. Oh. Here we go. Here goes some magic, Max. Looking good. Gee, I'll tell you what, she's soaking in quick. Soaking in very quick. Which is good. Okay, I'm going to wait until that dries, so I'll hang that up by that, and when it's dried I can hold the other end, and I'm going to find somewhere to hang it, oh look at that, there you go, that's all good, get another bit. I do like that colour. Yeah, I tend to think it's three parts walnut stain and one part rosewood. Because it's got that nice brown, but it's just got just that hint of red in it that gives it a, a richness. That has come up nice. Same, same. I'm going to have to just put this down until it dries and then I can do that last little bit. And here comes, here comes, well, I'll, do, I'll do the straight bits first, they're going to be easier. It is, it's, it's come up nice, isn't it? Oh, good on you, Trevor, I was just getting over my hunger pangs. So, obviously, she still cares about you. You off, Mario. See ya. <laughs> I 
I look, it's funny. I, I don't mind routers, but when I start doing profiles and what have you, and I'm using hand planes, oh, I don't like going back to routers. But it's all good. All good. This I've got to carefully put somewhere. And we'll do the other long one. Bum, 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 ba -dee -dee. Oh, that'd be nice. Especially if they're dried. <laughs> I prefer to work Douglas fur than eucalypt, I tell you. <laughs> Any day of the week. Hey? There is a word for the chair that us fellows call very good. Oh, you mean chic? Would that be it? Or is there something else? Okay, let's go. Put this one over there. It's coming up all right, isn't it? That's, that's quite nice, I think. And here comes the wriggly wiggly bit. Really wiggly wiggly bit. Something quite satisfying about doing doing those round bits like that. It's just odd. It's just a nice curvy bit. Yeah, wait for that to dry. See, if I had my compressor, I could, um, what do you call, accelerate the drying by hitting it with a bit of air. I think, I think it's laminated, but it's been steam bent. So there you go. 
So a bit of both. To answer your question, Wes, oh well, there you go. Yeah, look, I can see laminations in there. If you, yeah, if you look, if you look really, really close, you can see laminations. So I'm guessing it's plywood, but it's steam bent plywood. Oh, oh you yeah, definitely, you can see it there. And again, that's what makes me also think it's 70s, not a real old one, but oh, I suppose it's 50 years old, so not as old as me, but I was still at school then, so I was just leaving school, I think, one, <laughs> one of the best decisions my father ever made for me. Well, son, what are you going to do? Oh, I don't know, I think I'll go through to leaving and then I might go do something else. Well, I don't think you're bright enough to stay at school, so you might as well finish now. <laughs> I did. Walked out halfway through a science class and got a job working as a packer in a retail shop. In those days you used to buy something and they would send out the back and we'd pack it and then a Delivery driver would deliver it. Learned to try fancy knots there. Okay. Well, I'm pretty happy with that one. So we're going to see if the other one's dry. If it is, we can put some oil on it. It's dry. Oh, hang on, we've got a little bit of, a little bit to put over the top here first. If you remember, we didn't do this bit. And up inside. There you go. Put that back down over there and that bit can dry. And we've got this bit to do here to about spirit stone it doesn't doesn't take long to dry at all but there these should be dry so we can put put some oil on these put that away um, I'm gonna use finishing oil on this you could just as easily use uh, any of the oils that we discussed the other day, but I quite like the idea of finishing oil. If I can find it, oh, where is it? Oh, for goodness sake. Here we go. I knew it was here. But this dries quite nicely, so I'm quite happy to 
use it. And again, should I put it on with a brush? No, I think we'll just hand rub it, hand rub it. Going to go and grab some more rags today too. Oh, what that annoys me with that. Some days you can rip it and other days it's so hard. I'll have to look into, it's all to do with the warp and weft of the fabric. Like that, warp and weft. Okie dokie, here we go. Actually, I might, might do the same thing here and just tip a bit into there. Here we go. That is looking nice. It's very light coat. And I'm not getting any stain coming off, which means the stain's dry, which is good. Whereas if I use shellac, it would eat the stain and it would rip the colour out. So that's something you've always got to be mindful of when you're picking a finish and you stain, just be aware that um, if you're not careful, the stain can get pulled out by your finish and then you end up with a horrible blotchy mess, which basically means you've got to get in there and rip it off and start all over again. Which is something you don't want to do. And I'm not going to use um, steel wool on this because if I did, again, same story, the steel wool would cut into the stain and um, abrade the colour, which we don't want. Whereas if it was just normal timber, natural timber, I would be using a bit of steel wool. But it's not, so I won't. There we go. Put this one. It's very hard not to touch it, but if possible, don't touch it. Ah, yeah. This one. Um, oh yeah, high glue would most likely do it, Max. I'm really not that fussed. It doesn't worry me too much. Just shows the world I've been working, you see. But I tell you what, we'll, we'll give it a go. Oh, this, what have we got? Yeah, we've got time. I'll, I'll crank the... Um, High glue up. Put a bit of water in there. And we'll give it a go, Max. Good call. We'll give it a go.
look at that. I, I reckon when I give this to Susie, I should say, <laughs> say it's from everyone in the chat room because they all helped. Because if I wasn't streaming, I might not be doing this. Ah, uh, then I'd be in trouble. No, not really. Uh. Gee, that's got nice lines. side, which I should have done first, I suppose. Okay, I'll go and hang this one up. One. It's just like a production run, isn't it? Um, so I might do, might do the inside first. coming up nice. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just... It's lovely. Put this one back over here. Whirly whirly one out. Let me have a chat first. I feel like I'm ignoring everyone. G'day all. Lovely to have you in the shop, mate. Uh, uh, where are we up to? What have we got? Oh, crikey, I'm not going that far back. Bum, bum, ba, da, ba, bum. Uh, the duck, Steve, do you think making rocking chairs with a bent laminate would be as good as steam bent? Well, it's, it's, still, it's still steam bent. As far as I would do it, I would laminate it and then steam bend it. Um, I'd say you're uh, steam bending out of solid timber. <laughs> These designs would be extremely hard unless you had a, a full-on, not just a steam um, bath, but it'd have to be, yeah. I don't know. I still reckon it's a steam bent rather than laminated bent. But who knows? We'll have to do some steam bending one day. It's fun. They're easy to make. Just need a kettle and a piece of water pipe. Oh, no! 
Max, why did you tell me to put that on? I just built last, I didn't pull the temperature down. It's all boiled up. It's all right. At least we didn't get to the situation we did the other days. Only a little bit of a spill. Where are we? You just, that was just a little spill, that one. Wasn't a big spill, not like the other day. Let's see how this is going in here. Oh, oh, it's starting to, starting to loosen up, a, starting to loosen up a bit. That pot could do with a bit of a clean too, just quietly. Might have to do that lately, later. Where are we up to? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, there's a few projects for this week that I didn't get. I've got to finish these. <laughs> what camera are we on? Got to get those boxes finished over there. Once I've got those out of the way, then I'm much freer with my time. So we'll do a... a oh, thing is to get the compressor out. I've got to tie to that bench. Unbolt it, move it out, drag the compressor, but it needs to be done. It definitely needs to be done. Um, yes, yeah, the spirit based stain, Max. Hence, my hands are like that. I won't well, see that's telling the truth, but not divulging all the facts, Trevor. That's how us mere males have survived for so long. <laughs> oh. Okay, mate. You have a good night, duck. Catch you later. Thanks for coming in. Yes, they're just sitting on the triangle. But what they've got is they've got screw holes underneath. So I've just put the point of the screw of the pyramid. Oh, there's one there. It's just sitting in the screw hole like that. So, no, I'm not super clever. I, I use science. Oh, hang on, better check. I'll check the batteries. Yeah, we're down to one. Let me check this one over here. Which means tomorrow, it'll need new batteries all the way around again. Oh, that was the rocking chair that just fell down. Nah, we're looking good there. Oh dear, did it go all right? Did I mark it? No, nah, I think it's okay. It'll, it'll be right. I just knocked it. Oh, it's all good. So thanks for that, Max. I was going to forget. <clears throat> That's it, Earl. I'm there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the, the back now. The, the back's a dark rattan colour and the new one's light, but I think I'll just leave it. Well, we'll give, we'll give the um, hide glue a bit of a run, Wes. We're getting there. You've got a little bit to go, and then before we finish off, we'll, we'll give it a go, wiping the hands with it. Good night, Panda. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. See ya, Randy. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in, mate. Catch you tomorrow. 3.30. Well, good night, Julian. Okay. Let's just do this one.
Gee, those curves are nice. I do do enjoy doing those. The tight ones are a bit hard to do. Getting right in there. But sh looking good, I tell you. Nearly used all that oil up. And in the old days when I was starting that, oh, I used to spray everything. Oh, nitrocellulose. Yeah, great stuff. I used to get in there and spray it. But now I, I quite like the, the subtle tones that you get from oil. It's very soft and pleasing. for the moment. That is, tell you what I am, I'm quite impressed with that. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> Even my wedding ring doesn't want to belong to me anymore. It's spun around the wrong way. All right, take that off. Let's go. We're going to give this a try with high glue. See if we can get the stains off. So I'm just going to empty this and I'll get some clean water in there. And then we'll see how we go. I reckon. Let's move that back there. There you go. All right. Hands. Dirty, grotty hands. We have glue pot. Hot high glue. <laughs> this is all on you, Max. You know that, don't you? And you get the hot high glue. And ha ya! That's hot. Paint it on your hands. Extremely hot. Put it down, 
Rub your hands together. Bob, Bob's going to love this. <laughs> you think it's Christmas. Put it in the water. No, I don't, don't think it's going to work, Max. It works. Oh, no, I'll tell you what. It's definitely... <laughs> here comes the mud himself. Yeah, Bob, come here. Yeah, come here. You want my hands? Hang on. Go. Here you go, mate. Here you go. That? Look at that. Bob, Bob is into it. That's it. He's a hand washer. He's not only a dish licker, he's a hand washer as well. Yeah, no, that's good, isn't it, Bob? You like that? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. Well, it, it didn't do a bad job. <laughs> Get out of it. Go. Oh. It didn't do a too bad a job, I'll tell you, Max. No, I don't know if it was a dog slobber on it. <laughs> <laughs> or what, but there you go. That's, that's pretty good. That's better than soap and water would have done. So good call, Max. Two thumbs up for you, mate. And Bob enjoyed the process as well. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. Just leave that to one side. I'm going to make me married again or else I'll be demarried. Oh. <coughs> um, you can get them on eBay, Max, for I think they're about <coughs> forty dollars. Oh, thanks, Ray. I, I appreciate that. That insight. <laughs> Hey, old Bob loves it. Whoa. <laughs> I remember that. And what was the other one? Drink it, Freddie. Drink it. That was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> I am not worthy, Max. I bow to your, your superior intellect in matters of cleanliness. Oh dear. No, that's, that is not too bad. I, I must admit, where's, where are we going here? There you go. When you consider the colour that they were, that's not too bad at all. What's the cut on that high one? Mate, it's easy peasy. Um, it's, I just, all I do is fill a cup with this. I've got to do it again anyway, so I might as well. I'll do it now for you, Wes. Okay. That's all I do, just a cup of beads like that. And fill it full of water. And leave that for about 20 minutes. And what it'll do, it'll harden, or oh, it won't harden up, it'll soften up and just become a, a gelatinous blob. Throw that into the glue pot and just add water. Uh, the consistency I like looking for is about that of a good enamel paint. So it's not lumpy or chunky, but it's not really runny either. And then through the day, because the water will um, evaporate, I just tip water and after a while you get to know. So it's got to come off. See the flies hanging around it. That's a bit thick at the moment. But I don't know if you can see that. I'll, I'll take it out of the glue pot. Okay, so it comes off the brush like that without breaking or spitting into... See, so now it's starting to break up. You don't want it breaking up, but you want it to have a nice flow like that. 
about a good enamel paint and you just keep that consistency up. If it's too loose, uh, too wet, just leave it for a bit and it'll find its own uh, level. Or if it's too hard and thick, just whack some water in it. It's, it's one of those things that's um, yeah, just a feel thing. Do it for a few years, mate. You get to understand it. So, well, there you go. That's it. I reckon that'll just about pull the stumps on today. Well, we did a lot of work. Uh, I did anyway. Half the rocking chair's done. We've done a chair repair there. That's all we did. We had a bit of a chat. We had some fun. Susie came down with her saying of the day. And I've got to go and take her in to get this little thing cut off of her, which isn't, isn't good. But anyway, it's not a horrible one. It's just a nuisance on her back. So that's it. This is Steve pulling the shed door down saying thanks to the mods. Thanks for everyone in the chat room. Thanks for everyone that's watching that hasn't joined the chat room. And please feel free to jump in. They're a really friendly mob. And uh, just make yourself known and you'll be made more than welcome. Tomorrow we'll continue with the rocking chair and I've got to do some box work. Um, that's about it. So this is Steve pulling the shed door down on another stream. What are we up to? 16 or 17, is it? I don't know. 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 days straight. I've never done 17 days straight in my life of anything. Then it is Steve pulling the shed door down and saying, remember to keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe, look after yourself, be kind to each other, exercise restraint when you're queuing up for stuff. And remember, everyone's entitled to an opinion. You don't have to agree with it, though. So take care. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to others. God bless you. And I'll catch you tomorrow, same time, in the workshop, at the workbench, where we can do it all again, only differently. <laughs> Till then, bye for now.